Hi there, my name's Vince from MyMadeVince.com and in this video today is a revisit for Bonkers! Remember the Sega Mega Drive game? Well check this out, I've had a really interesting comment on here and uh, I have to check it out, I'm actually quite excited. So have a look here, this is from Rodrigo Lamas and it says here, make a jumper with a 1k resistor on pin 8 of the mask ROM from top left to right and solder the other part of the resistor to the bottom on pin... 10 from left to right. I hope I could explain it well. Now, so then I put underneath, hi, is this a known fix on these games? Does it bypass the fail component inside the PROM? That's the, the big chip, uh, the master ROM. It would be nice to do a revisit on this if a simple resistor could fix it. Now, let me read out his reply because obviously it will mean a lot more to a lot of you than it does to me. So it says here, this defect is a protection that the Mega Drive Sega Genesis games have and when this protection opens, it turns the master ROM frequency on high mode, but the correct would be that it was in a low frequency. Do the test with a multimeter on a diode scale, put the red tip on the ground and go measuring the pins. A good pin should have a approximate value of 0.635. When you find a pin with an abnormal value, for example 1.657, you will know that is the cause of the problem. Put one side of the resistor on it and the other side to ground. I've recovered several games of mine doing this is worth a try. I went on to thank him and said I was going to do another video, but now I'm going on to this. So, of course, I've got my multimeter straight out, and the pins that he suggested is abnormal because they're not showing anything. So let me quickly show you that now. I'm going to solder on a resistor and see if it makes any difference. Right, okay, so originally what I was doing, I was testing it just going across here, but I think he means this side here. Obviously, uh, when it says top left, is it top left here or top left here? I was assuming here. But if I go across from here, bearing in mind that this one here is a 21 pin, let me just quickly count that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So there's 21 pins on each side, so 42 in total. I believe you can get another one with, is it uh, 40 pins? I think, it's one, I think it's one less top and bottom, I think. Anyway, look. I've looked up the pin out for a 42-pin uh, mask ROM, a Sega uh, Mega Drive one, Genesis one, and basically the top one that he's talking about, so he said pin 10 at the top, so pin 10 is going to be from this side, uh, no, pin 8 at the top, beg your pardon, pin 8 at the top is coming up as Q7, whatever Q7 means, and then the other one, pin 10 at the bottom, is the ground, which is the VSS. Now let me show you, remember he said about putting the meter to diode, so let's put this to diode test, and the red lead to ground, so that's going to be the ground here. Now watch, let me just give you a quick example by going across here. So you can see on this one here, it's reading that point, well I, I won't bother reading it out, you can just see. So they're all similar, they're near enough all 0.72 apart from one or two which are the uh, 0.51. Yeah, let me go across. Okay. And now we're nearly at eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Check this out. Eight. Nothing. There's nothing on eight. And then nine, we get a reading again. Uh, this one's going to be ground again, but look, 8 here, sorry, 8 here is not doing anything. And there's definitely continuity between this one, because I did this in the last video, so from there it goes down, goes to here. So if I put my meter to continuity, you can hear that that's working. And I know the actual uh, chip itself is, uh, wait... There you go, you can hear it going on the back there when I go across there. So uh, definitely the solder's okay. So I've got this little pack of resistors in it, and sure enough, in here there was a 1K resistor, or resistors, so I'm going to pop one out, and I'm going to do exactly as Rodrigo suggests, and I'm going to go between pin 8 and that ground there. Let's see if it does anything. Let me get my soldering iron set up. Right, let's just solder this on. So it's a resistor, so it doesn't matter which way around it goes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm just going to add some solder to that. 
Remember, if this breaks it, it doesn't matter because it's not working anyway. Right, let me just cut away the uh, excess here. I'm just going to look through this make sure that's not shortened against that one. Just use a little eye loop. But that's all good and also I double checked the colour code off the uh, 1K resistor and it is brown, black, red uh, and then just to go for the tolerance. Right, let's uh, take this over to the Mega Drive, make sure I put it in the right way and let's see if it's made any difference. Okay, you can see Mega Drive here and I've got Golden Axe 2 working up here. So let's turn this one off. Oh, I'm really excited. Right, okay, so you can see you can't put it in the wrong way because it doesn't actually allow you to, it fails. So at least you know when you're putting it back together, they kind of made it idiot proof. So basically that's how I'm going to be putting it in, that way there, yeah? Right, let's pop it in. Imagine if it was to work. Right, okay, that's in. Yeah, that's in. Right, here goes. Come on now. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> yes! What? Oh, Mr. Llamas, how good are you? Look at that! Unbelievable. Oh, oh my God. Sorry for the overreaction, but I... Uh, part of me wanted to believe it was going to work, but a lot of me thought it's not going to work. It's working! Unbelievable. Look at it! Wow! So, I, I don't fully, I know he's explained it well, but for me, that still doesn't make a lot of sense for me. But obviously, the rest of you reading this, if you know about these mask rums and stuff, it will make sense to you. So basically, it uh, must be high, low, high, low or something, and it was being a high when it should have been a low, or vice versa. And by putting that resistor in, it solved that problem. That is unbelievable. And I did actually watch a little bit of this game on, uh, on a YouTube clip, and to be honest with you, this is the sort of game I would have liked when I was young. In fact, it kind of appeals to me now a lot. I mean, I don't, it says Disney, but I don't know anything about Bonkers. I don't know whether it was a UK thing or not. Oh, that's just unbelievable. Oh, Rodrigo, honestly, you don't understand how much I appreciate that. For the sake of a resistor, I mean, how much does a resistor cost? And now it's a working game. That is amazing. Right, so apologies, I don't know how to play this, but let's just do a minute gameplay. Right, so, okay, so I'm throwing donuts at these things here, I presume. Oh, wow. Okay, well, I don't have to bore you with my bad playing, but how, how good is that? So let me take the game out and uh, just show you that resistor one more time. And do you know what? This is actually going to be a help... Oh, how do you get that? How do you... Uh... This is actually going to be a helpful fix for others out there because... Uh, you know, anybody can do that fix. If they've got a soldier on, you don't need any special equipment there, do you? It's a, it, that is actually a really, really easy fix to do. So I wonder now, is it always those pins or can they go on other pins? I wonder sometimes you have to add more than one resistor. But in this instance here, I just did exactly what he told me. There you go. I'll zoom in close so you can copy it yourself. And that's the resistor there, in case you're not sure which one it is. 1K, brown, black, red, then the gold band. Honestly, I'm so happy with that. Let's just plug it in one more time just to make sure it wasn't some sort of uh, fluke. I'm so happy. Right, plug that in again. There you go, working again. Unbelievable. Uh, honestly, thank you so much, Rodrigo. Thank you so, so, so much for doing that. Uh, that is absolutely fantastic. And I hope you lot have enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. Honestly, I'm, I'm over the moon. Uh, right, yeah, that is it. Ugh, thanks. Take care. Bye now.